The second Marvel trailer came out last week and I watched it and I'm gonna be honest with you in this entire video. This is Digital Charcuterie. We are a charcuterie board of digital content. If you like the video, Hulk smash the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe. We got new videos, so ding that bell to stay up to date with all of them. Look, the first Marvel's trailer that came out, I was like, eh, I wanted to like, you know, I wanted to. I was like, I'm not a pessimist. There's a lot of people out here who are pessimists and when I said that, you probably gave me a thumbs down, whatever. I'm not a pessimist. I want to like what you're feeding me, right? If you're going to feed me, feed me something good. And I saw that trailer and I said, you're not feeding me something good. We did a Hulk smash, Hulk pass uh, episode. And I said, I had to pass on that one. This new trailer came out. And the first thing I read online was a very negative response to it. Somebody said, I didn't like this tra uh, trailer. I was looking forward to the movie. Not so much now. And I was like, oh boy, what are we in for? So I see this trailer and I'm like, oh, actually I kind of dig it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. It's funky. It's not preachy in any way. And it's kind of exactly what I kind of wanted from a blockbuster film at this point, right? Like it's just, it looks like it's fun. It's having, it's having a good time with the material that it has. It's not taking itself too seriously, which I know, here's the thing. There's a difference between the, the Marvel comedy that people don't like and not taking yourself too seriously. These are freaking like alien mutant creatures who do stupid things in a movie. Like that's what I mean. Like just have fun with it. So I kind of enjoyed this trailer. It wasn't like my favorite trailer of all time, but it did the job, right? It was like, okay, that that's fine. Whatever. I'm not, look, I'm probably not going to see it in the theater, but it was a fine trailer. Earlier this year, I think it was in June, I had to bring this up because in June, Vera Annen said that there was a test screen and it went very well. People seem to really like what they were shown. And I've heard this from multiple reports that this movie is actually a lot better than people are anticipating. I know the first Captain Marvel, look, the first Captain Marvel made a billion dollars and nobody likes it. I don't, there, there's something wrong. It's like the Nickelback of movies. But this movie apparently is very entertaining and is doing very well in the test screenings. And you could throw the flash in my face, but apparently in the flash screenings, they didn't show certain elements of the movie. I don't want to spoil the movie still because it's still kind of fresh, but they didn't show certain elements of the movie that the fans who went to the theater, the four of them that went to the theater, didn't like. So take, I mean, test screenings are all grain of salt anyway, but apparently this movie is really good. People, I'm not going to say, but it could be one of the better MCU movies in a very long time. They haven't had many hits lately. This one, who knows if it's going to do well at the box office. November, it might. But if it's a good movie, it could have legs. And if it has legs, this could be the most profitable Marvel movie in quite some time. Are you going to go see the Marvels? Are you looking forward to the Marvels? Let me know. Is it going to be the best MCU movie since Endgame? Let me know in the comments down below. Give us a like and subscribe. But until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.